Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 2. Uh, we are going to get into the priest's house. We're supposed to ask Cecil, but I don't know where the hell Cecil is. This is uh, that's the prison. No, that's not. The, is this the way through? This place is semi-confusing to get through. I don't think this is. Oh, it, maybe no. Well. If not for that damned Yorvith, the serfs would probably be hanging the prince by now. God, this door. I don't know where Cecil is. He's probably at the tavern drinking. I think I'm in the I right am. spot, though. Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on. Am I going in the right place? Uh, I can't really tell. <laughs> where am? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yay, no. 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 Down here. Is this his house? No. Well, it looks like it, maybe. It's kind of hard to tell by the mini-map. There are a bunch of doors. They lie in wait for their lord and prince. Humans are an odd lot. I certainly hope Scalen can clean up this mess. What can I do for you, Witcher? Uh, let's do this Cecil, first. do you know anyone who fought in the war three years ago? I did. Did you fight here at Vergen? Of course. Philippa claims you know a bit about the battle. That old kook insult, called king by some, thought that Adernians were bumpkins who'd ship bricks as soon as his troops crossed the river. Why did he attack Edern? According to Hensult, Upper Edern is the ancient legacy of the Kedwini crown and must be returned to the mother country. Brazen farter. That brazen farter had a point. If you read some history, you'll know that 300 years ago, this land belonged to Kedwin. Lord of Crab. 700 years ago, the elves reigned here. And a million years ago, these lands were the domain of the worms. If things weren't that way, every king could invade a neighboring land and claim his right to do so because an ancestor took a dump there. All right. Hensel wanted to conquer Upper Edern. What then? He rolled in, got hammered. And rolled out. Cecil, that doesn't help me much. It wasn't a battle. It was a slaughter. If I try speaking of it, I'll see it all again. I don't want... The ghosts of the fallen fight in the mist. They turn into horrible creatures called Draugrs. Edernians, Kedweni, men, elves, and dwarves too. Bloody hell. No peace even after death. I want to help them, but I need to know more about the battle. Very well. Listen. A beautiful day, that grew hot later, very hot. When van der Grift attacked in the afternoon, he sent the Dun Banner at the fore. Many of our lads shit themselves at the mere sight of their standard, but we had a surprise of our own. Under the cover of night, we prepared fire pits. Our archers lit them up at the right moment. I still can't believe we managed to fool their scouts. If it wasn't for that ambush, we wouldn't be speaking today. They likely wouldn't be in Upper Edern at all. We decimated the Dunbanner, but that was only the beginning. Seltkirk was our commander. Everywhere he appeared, the Kedwenis gave ground. He wreaked havoc among them. Hearts rose at the mere sight of his armor. Then, Van de Grift himself entered the fray. Seltkirk met him in the middle of the field. In the end, Van de Grift killed Seltkirk. A terrible death that sent the Adernian ranks into disarray. I thought it was the end of us. Then the sky fell, as if the stars themselves had decided to avenge the death of a great knight. Fire covered the battlefield. Nobody sought the enemy. They were all looking for somewhere to flee. Yes, there were no more friends and enemies, only the living and the dead. They say it was the doing of a Kidweni sorceress who wanted revenge on Vandergrift. Could be true, as Henseld had her executed right after the battle. Did you see the duel between Seltkirk and Vandergrift? I stood half a furlong from them. Never seen a fight like it. Probably never will again. They'd already met once, at a jousting tournament in Ard Craig. Seltkirk won there. He beat on the visitor so hard he broke his sword. Seltkirk was a true knight, the last of his breed. 
Vandergrift was so pissed off after that tournament, he hanged the smith who made his sword and ordered a special one from a sorcerer. I bet he cut down Shelkirk with that new sword. Vandergrift is dead. What happened to his sword? Sarskia's got it. Good thing, too. Only her hand can tame the hatred enchanted in that sword. After the battle, when the flames abated, the scavengers came. They stole everything. Imagine. Not a single keepsake or Selkirk in the whole of Edon. His brother babbles something about a gauntlet, but he's a lying dog. You captured the Dunbanner standard? Hensel's choice troops, and not a one survived. The visitor sent them to their deaths, refused to give them reinforcements. He was a monster in human form. The men of the Dun were real swaggerers. Killed a lot of our lads, but for every Dunna, there were seven Adarnians. They had no chance. Aye, we captured their standard. We buried what was left of them in the crypts beyond Vergen. Their standard lies with them. Worthy foes are to be respected, even in death. I'm going to need that standard. Thanks, Cecil. That was helpful. I think I know what I need to lift the curse now. Madam Eilhart claims you need four symbols. The standard symbolizes death. Vandegrift's sword stands for hatred. What about the other two? I have a feeling Philippa has a handle on the rest. Here's hoping you're right. Okay, I might still need to... Um... Let's do Sasuke this one. needs help, Cecil. Philippa can produce an antidote, but she needs a magic artifact to do that. Would you like a fern and a dancing worm to go with it? Listen, I don't know about magic, but there is a place. As long as I can remember, it's been of interest to sorcerers. They say it's a very strong intersection. Look for magic there. Where exactly is there? Seek out the ruins in the forest beyond Bergen. There's a place of power there. You can't miss it. Why so glum? Saskia's a tough girl. She'll bounce back. Keep your head up. Thanks, Cecil. No, Witcher. I thank you. Save that lass, and you'll save my town. Okay. Now... I need to go. know where Reverend Olkin used to live. Hmm. Simple. Let me show you on the map. It's about right here. Um, alright. Don't forget about the monsters in the pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to search Olkin's room first. There's more pressing matters at this second. Okay, now where is his house? Of course, it's all the way on, like, the other side of the map. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Hopefully this takes me there. It looked like a shortcut, but then again, I don't think it is. Oh, I'm going to the wrong place. I went to... I keep doing this, man. I keep going to the stupid craftsman things instead of the exclamation point. I keep being stupid like that. Okay, at least I know where to find Cecil now, so if I need to find Cecil here in the future... Such judgment is I know where he is. I believe. But I think I did all the dialogue for Cecil, so I don't quite know if it's even necessary. If he's even necessary anymore. All right. I guess maybe I can go back to him. Later, but I don't know if there's a. That's why I went through those dialogue options while I was right there. Where the hell did this dude live? There is no way he lived down there. That cannot be where he lived. Is there. What? His room cannot. possibly. The um don't try him. I think you're drunk. Cause this doesn't even make any sense. It... 
this. No, that can't be broken down. Greetings. Okay, his room cannot be here. I'll say it again. Humans are greetings. See, when they're dramatic, they become sense. terribly picky. Um, game. I think you're drunk. What the hell, dude? Maybe... I don't know, dude. I'm confused. I'm hella confused. Okay, you can't go in there. Uh... <sighs> what the hell? Don't try it. Is there anywhere... Oh, it moved. Alright, I got- I get what it was doing. Okay, I understand. It was- it's a semi-GPSing, because now it's showing me come down here, go over here, and this is his room. Alright, alright, good. Are you? Strange aura. Now, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for in here. Well, we found some money. Nothing interesting. Wait, wait for un events to unfold. <gasps> Why can't I have this armor? That armor looks badass. Okay, let me out of here. Why am I walking so slow? Alright. So, we need to head back, I assume, to the... I don't know if by wait for un events to unfold, I need to be there for the events to unfold, or if it literally means you need to wait until events unfold, like I need to go do other crap. I'm not sure exactly what it means. So, I'll see did that letter... Inspect. Okay, diagram of an ornate chalice. So, he was responsible. He helped craft the thing. I don't know where that other dude is, so we aren't even going to worry about him. Um, I think if we go in here, I think this is the door. This game really makes me think it's kind of confusing and... Okay, so I'm not sure. Your tone when we put a the prince has a coming me. Okay, so I think here we go. Enough of this then... charade. Try to be reasonable, folks. Sit down and talk in peace. We've talked enough. Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his oval. Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat. Brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why the mongrel covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. 
Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right! Give us Stannis! Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stannis is blowing hot and cold. Everyone knows that. You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it. A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her you noble dogs can't ignore us. A pig won't cut its own throat. A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his savior. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis's room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lights-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene damned the prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they wanted, nobody but Stannis could do it. You're wrong, Colton. Reverend Olkin wanted to get rid of Saskia. He thought she was a monster at heart. Olkin was on Stannis's leash like a dog. How dare you, lout! Do you imagine if someone sits next to a married lady, he's surely fucking her? The priest tried to convince Prince Stannis to join the conspiracy. Is Stannis some dimwit foundling that he dances to a lousy priest's tune? Olkan got what he deserved when Hensel cleaved his head. Now it's Stannis's time. There is no proof the prince agreed. The priest asked him for admittance to the kitchen. So he didn't poison the virgin himself, but allowed her to be poisoned. It appears Stennis would benefit the most from Saskia's death. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Can it? And if Saskia won't get well, who's going to judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. The Prince has a right to a fair trial, no matter if he's guilty or not. We can't deny him that. What will the peasants do if we hand them the Prince? Will they hear him out? No. They'll hang him from the nearest tree or tear him limb from limb. What will happen if we allow a lynching? What if people see that might makes right? Who'll guarantee they won't desire to avenge their wrongs, real and imagined? Who'll protect people whose only fault is noble birth from the exasperated mob? And where will it lead? Good. The peasants are furious. They didn't dare mount a frontal attack. But they haven't forgotten about Stennis, and won't. It'll be that way until Saskia regains consciousness. She won't keep order by strength alone. Unless it's a great strength. We need an authority figure, and royal blood. Five courts go to waste in the Dwarven dungeon at the moment. There's also Henselt. Going into that haunted mist is madness. 
Stealing Stennis away would be easier. No. Anything involving Stennis will cause a riot. I've had enough of the peasants and nobles barking. Saskia's the best leader I know, but she can't hope to defeat Henselt's army with this rabble, which is why I'm going to get reinforcements. Where? Four Squirtel units await in hiding to the east. Time to summon them. You'll make it in time? I must. All right, so now I need to talk to Philippa about who knows what. Okay, so we're back on where is Triss Marigold. So hopefully Philip is done with whatever the hell she was doing. 20, I know, it's longer than that, like 40 minutes ago. So hopefully she, she finished her shit. I don't feel like it's taking me to her house. But I guess I'll trust the game. Actually, no, I won't. I'm gonna look at the map. That is not... No, wait, 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 wait! I'm looking at the wrong damn thing again. Where is she? Oh, well, this is... Maybe this is where she is. I'm... Ah, <sighs> this game... Confuses so, me. You thought it over. So, this is her house. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, never mind. I know, I know where we are now. I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kedwani camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. Of course I will. The mist is full of wraiths. I'll help you. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell, then. We still need royal blood. I know. Henselt. We need his blood, not his death. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not a Kingslayer? So... Cross to the other side. Really? I gotta go through the wraith? I gotta get... I'm gonna get destroyed. I'm gonna get destroyed, time. literally destroyed, by race. Like, this isn't even gonna be close. Oh my god, there's so much shit. I think it's Thorak. Where is he? Let's go do this. I think he's the bitch. He's the bitch that did the poisoning. He made the, the fake so, chalice. This mofo killed her. I think, or... Poisoned her. Now, she's not dead yet. She's gonna live. Because I'm about to go clutch. I'm gonna save her ass. Alright, Thorak. Let's trade first. Eh, let's see what he's got to sell before I accuse him. Ooh. A sword. Da a Darnian red sword. Ooh. Not bad. Harpy trap. I don't really want to buy harpy traps. I might buy that new sword. I think I got shit I need to sell. First of all, I don't need all this twine. You can have half of it. You can have half of my cloth. I'll keep my timber. You can have half of my leather. Gotta free up some weight. You can have half of this diamond dust. That's a lot of diamond dust. Half of my oil, half of my iron ore, half of my amethyst dust. Uh, none of this really meant. Oh, rune. Necrophage crap. Harpy feathers. Harpy feathers are worth a lot. We'll sell six of those for. I don't know what reason. I'm just selling shit to sell it. 
does any of this stuff really weigh anything? No, oh, this is four pounds. But that's not really that bad. Uh, I don't want to sell any of that. I'll keep the Elven Gauntlets. Okay, so... Do I want to buy this sword, or do I not want to buy, or to not to buy? I'm not gonna buy it. Okay. Anyone order an exquisitely adorned goblet from you? I get the occasional commission for tableware, sure. But what exactly are you talking about? Saskia's goblet. Was that your handiwork? That ugly bucket! Did you intend to offend me? Whoever made that thing should be whipped! I certainly hope Saskia orders her vessels for me next time. If she gets a chance to order anything again. Um, alright, so we're back to wait for events to unfold. Okay, so, accusing him. I didn't even accuse him. The game didn't even let me accuse him. Uh, let's go into this branch. What do I want to get? I think, oh my god, it's hard to control this. Vitality plus 100. Kind of want to get that up. And... Look at that. Ooh, look at that when I level up again. That's nice. Okay, so we need to switch quests. I already accused him, though. Okay, let me switch back to it. Uh, just wants me to wait to, for events to unfold. Okay, so. Obtain some of Hensult's blood. Okay, that's... Can't do that. What is this one? Find the place of power, which see... Okay. Let's cross the battlefield. F it! Or cross the spectral mist. We're gonna get freaking reamed. I'm gonna get freaking destroyed where is the map how do i get it where am i supposed to go i'm just gonna get absolutely molested i'm just gonna get destroyed by a race if these race are anything like the witcher 3 race and with as little damage as i'm dealing i have a feeling this is not going to go well this is not going to be a happy time with these wraiths those shits, I'm gonna have to use Yurden, which means I can't use Gwen, which means I'm just free to just get reamed with damage, and... Well, that's not a recipe for success. It's a recipe to get absolutely destroyed, which is about what's gonna happen. We're gonna get out there, and then I'm gonna call it an episode. I'll say it again. Humans are yeah, goodbye everybody, I'm about to go get killed by some wraiths. Well, if I'm dying at another part here, it's gonna be this part, I have a feeling. Watch the race just be easy as shit, and I just roll. Okay, so. Let's take the winding path here. I think it's this way. Yep, and then it takes me this way. And then curve around here. We got the... Okay, so... I want to keep looking at it so I go the right way. Now where? Okay, continue. Now... Huh? So what... Is there a path up here? What? I'm not sure where it's trying to tell me to go. Come on, game. How? Where? Okay, so I think it wants me to go this way. This is what it's telling me, right? No? It wants me to go this way. Correct? Yes, I think. Oh, look! It's the, the fucking spectral mist. Oh, God. Well, guys, in the next episode, we're going to try to cross the other side of the spectral mist. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.